actually may be yes so i'm going to be dropping a clip let's watch together then comment below what you think you'll be submitted to your husband before you spend a dime out of it yes you heard me right your money belongs to the both of you and he has the authority full authority over the money over your resources to tell you how to spend it what to do with it remember he's the head of the home you are to submit to him in everything including my money the way we call it it's my money i work for it no it's our money and then he has the control over the money ah woman of god how can you say that what if he spends it well that's why that period of courtship is good for you to choose the man you will gladly submit to because if you don't submit your resources especially your money to your husband you are disobeying god it's a sin it can hinder your your prayer it can i'm telling you the truth it can hinder your prayer you become an an, an unsincere person before god you become a liar you become a liar before god he says submit in all things all things means all things i'm not the one that said it to let's look at your bible ephesians chapter 5 verse 24 open your device let's read open your bible, manual bible if you have one with you let's read together I'm reading from the King James Version. It says, Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Did he say in some things? No, in all things. So, I give you um, a scenario now. For example, if you are a working class wife, at the end of the month, when your salary is paid, you bring the alert, the credit alert to your husband and show him. In fact, copy it from your phone. Send it to him on WhatsApp. Okay, you don't have WhatsApp. Send it to him as an SMS. Honey, my salary has been paid. What do we do about it? I need to get some, of, some, some things. You, can, you let him know what you need. He has to approve it. Uh, is it my father that trained me? Well, that's why you have changed your father's name to his name. It's now your new father. It's now your, your leader. You submit to your leader. It's like voting someone into an office. That period you vote that man, that politician, that woman into that office to represent you. He will be the leader. There's nothing you can do about it. He's going to lead you because you voted him. So the time of courtship is the time of voting. That time you were courting. You had every, every, um, every chances. You know all the chances in the world. You had every chance to say, I want this one. I don't want this one. I can submit to this. I can submit to this. Because if you get married to him, if you eventually marry him, you will submit to him. You must submit. I don't believe in, it's my money. It's my money. I will do whatever I like with it. I will spend it how I like it. No. From the day you say I do, from the day you say I do to him, he becomes your leader. Your money becomes, on, uh, it becomes his money. His money becomes your money. But most importantly, you as the woman, you are the one to submit. You submit to him. He tells you how the money should be spent. He tells you, he tells you what to do. And do you know as a woman, as a wife, as a Christian wife, you are not supposed to give out money to anybody, any human being without the consent of your husband. Because if you do, you are also an unsincere wife. You are also an unsincere. So you need to tell him, I want to pay my brother's tuition fee. I want to buy a house for my mother. I want to take my dad on a medical trip. You need to. You have to let him know everything. Stop hiding your financial 
activities from your husband. He's the head. Submit to him. Submit to him. He has hundreds. Actually, me and my husband watched this video with you also. So I'm going to be sharing his opinion. Yes, his genuine opinion with you guys. <laughs> when we were watching it, he heard what the woman was saying. He said, he said on is this what you watch? So anything you just see on social media, you watch. And I laughed. And I said, no, we watch now so that we can learn, we can benefit from each other. He said, what am I benefiting from here? I said, ah, uh -uh. she's talking to you now. She's talking to me, especially to me, your wife. She said, I should go away. <laughs> that is fake. This thing here is fake. They are not reality. They don't do it. I was laughing. I said, ah, she's a prophetess. She's the pastor's wife. He said, I should forget. I said, ah, what really happened? Why are you angry like this? He said, most things on social media are fake. They are not real. For example, when we got married, you knelt down to feed me. Now, do you still do it? I said, no, I don't do it. I was not laughing. And I said, so do you want me to be doing it? <laughs> He said, no, I don't want me to be doing it. Is he sick? That I will be feeding him. I said, ah, ah, what kind of mentality is this? I don't understand. What does he mean? That is his mindset. What I'm actually trying to bring out from all this is this. Marriage has to do with understanding between the two people involved. Sometimes when we hear things on social media, some people will get angry. We will feel bad. Even my husband who said it to her next day, said this thing will lead other couples to have misunderstanding in their homes, which is not supposed to be. So it has to, as I started asking, I said, okay, for example, if someone comes to you and asks you about your wife's finance, what will you say? He said, we tell that I don't know anything about my finance. <laughs> you don't know anything about my finance. The issue here is it has to be with the two people. Really, he doesn't know. And I told about if you ask me to bring something, I bring my say yes. That is what he knows. I bring my own part of the share that he wants me to bring. The rest, he doesn't know how I spent it. I was not like, I said, okay, with that, are you angry? He said, no, he's not angry. Why will he be angry? <laughs> it's so funny what we hear every day. It's so funny. I just the truth. That's to do with the two couples. Please, it's not everything we see on social media. We get flare up, we get angry, then we misunderstood ourselves. No, some things are not the way they seem to be. Some people just want to present it so that you will like it, so that you will say, yes, this is how it goes. It has to do with the two people involved, husband and wife. If you understand your woman, you are good.